Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Hello. and welcome back to some more Dota 2 here at the International 2018 Group Stages. I'm Eddie Pixel, I'm here with Fog, and we have Secret vs. Serenity Game 2 now on your screens. Game 1, it's pretty one-sided. Serenity was. turning yeah. up and doing it in style. The uh, As we said, the draft from Secret was a little bit the class. You know, we, we know Puppy, he's got his ideas, he likes to push them. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. They drafted an Necro and a Pugna into a Nyx Assassin. It didn't work out. Surely they're not going to do it again. I mean, they have the option to. Oh, they're, they're doing it again, folks. Okay. Nah, they, ah, that's better. There's the that's, switch. Okay. That's better. All right, they I get like the tiny. This. Okay, they, they get the adjustment. tiny. The Necro, yeah. I mean, it was okay. the Nyx still hurt uh, the Necro a lot, but the tiny and the the tiny and the tiny Lino were actually the biggest part. The Klinks also played an incredibly good game. Yeah, they at least banned yeah. at that one. So. Okay. And yeah, they're taking, they take the tiny. All taking right. that tiny, I mean, it's a great hero. And uh, you better. don't want Xinqiu to be playing it. Xinqiu had a flawless game on the tiny last game. So Secret making sure that uh, Serenity don't get their hands on it again. And oh, a Death Prophet second pick. Not a hero that's at the top at the moment, at least in, in sort of up the, the events running up to TI. People weren't playing this hero. No, i got to go back and look at some stuff. But too. Serenity's taking it as a second pick. So they... Let's, I'm gonna go back to the since they formed. Let's go back to since when Serenity formed. Okay, I mean they they do pick they play some Death Prophet. They play okay, the DP, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, of, not a lot of other they people love, do that. So. They love their Nyx. Hmm. Ten seconds remaining. I mean, it was pretty good last game. It was. Yeah, Pyw had a great game on the Nyx Assassin, Five and uh, as you can see, he's the captain. He's the drafter. He wants a hero. Bam! He's gonna pick it first. Yeah. He wants to play Nyx Assassin. He's gonna play Nyx Assassin. So Death Prophet versus Tiny, that used to be something that people used to do, right? The DP versus Tiny, because your low armor and all that, the ghosts are really strong, the siphon's a little bit stronger too, or the way the damage applies it's a little bit faster, right? No, 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 that, not because it, it's not a slow, that's right. Um, or because it is a slow, that's right, it doesn't change. But versus Necro too, you've got good ways to deal damage through everything, because your two of your spells are going to be magical, the other's physical. Cool. And you got that hard silence as well, and, and Necrophos... Sure, he can get a yours. A lot of the time, he's not really building items to remove a silence from himself. Yeah. Uh, sort of We've like seen the Yules sometimes. Yeah, People that's what I said. Yeah, he has yeah. to. Well, I guess he doesn't have to, but, you know, the, the, the Yules build is sort of more. You know, the, 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 he, he sort of wants to build it this game. Uh, whereas, in, you know, most of the time in Necrofresh, you don't really want to be getting Yules first. Now, let's see what the bands. Once again, Serenity just banning out those. Those cheese heroes that Secret can pull out. The Ten Arc Warden and the Broodmother taken away. Mm -hmm. Good way to play versus Secret, in my Five opinion, right? Take out those me. take out those ace heroes. Team Already, though, this looks like a way better approach, in my opinion, for Secret. Like, oh, yeah, I, they've I, got the, the tiny. The double down was just... I can understand the, like, the Necro versus Nyx, I'm alright with. A Pugna versus Nyx, I'm, I'm alright with. It's still painful, but both. You know, that's when it's... You're asking for some trouble. And that was with the Yapsor Rubik in the game, too. Yeah, it was, didn't have, they did not, not have a flashy time shine. at all. No. no, no, no. Not at all Ten that game. Seconds remaining. Good. Demolished. So, secret. Five Talking about Yapsor, remaining. probably likely that they pick his hero now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's the thing about these two heroes. Is I have seen in some games people trying the Tiny as the four, but I'm kind of I'm not really going to think that that's it. So they've already shown two cores on the side yeah, of the Yeah, I, was, I, we'll, I we'll feel like it's been a that. while since I've really seen Tiny not yeah. as a core. Yeah. Very rare to, to have it in that tip peer position for him. There, there was that phase where it was very popular to, to come through in that. And what are we going to have here? Secret going now into the bonus time. Still looking for puppies, heroes for, for Yapsaws. And as we would imagine, I guess both Fighter and Midborn could play the Tiny. Yeah, yeah, that's it's still we, very we, open we, on yeah, that we, one. Yeah, we've seen it both mid and off lane today. And uh, the game's on just this stream, al stream alone. I'm wondering what the, the supports that they want to pick to be good versus the Nyx Assassin, because Nogan and Rubik didn't feel like that great. So they're going to do the Venge. Okay, so Venge and Tiny got a lot of harassment damage. Now they have a save as well, right, for the Necro if in the front line. They also have a... They can start fights with Venge too, versus DP. Death Prep, it's one of those heroes where you charge in the front, you can get swapped into the base, and then you're here in a lot of trouble. So Okay, I like this. The minus armor too, and people have been talking up Venge just that level one wave of terror, right? Ten minus three armor, remaining. sixty damage, twenty-five mana, really helps out your lanes a lot. Five seconds remaining. And benefits f with tiny, right? The minus armor plus that big tree smack early on, a lot of pressure yeah. in the laning phase. So, yeah, that'll probably be the lane we see the composition, the tiny and the Venge together. 
I just think there's a chance that we see Serenity uh, grab the clinks again for GGG. It's, that was the first oh, sorry, ban. Yeah, first ban. Just test. Team just pretend. Turn to there we go. Oh. Okay, Bane. As their next support hero for Serenity. Strong, strong laner. Yeah. Very, very strong laner. She can be clutched with the timings. Can save some heroes from the Reaper Scythe with the Nightmare usage. This is very true. Can be very nice. And also sort of that extra, so the, the, the ability to disable Ten two from range, have a nightmare, fiend's grip, so you can sort of try and play around that venge, look to, to hold her down with a nightmare when you go for the fiend's grip on another target. And uh, all in all, I mean, th again, it is going to be one of those games where Serenity have a lot of control in the fight. The Nyx Assassin, the Bane, the DP Silence, it's not going to be the easiest for Secret to fight into into the team fights. Yeah, they look, I mean, that's what, it seems like that's what this team likes to do, is just yeah. be the, the battlers, control. yeah. Battle and control. They'll find farm. Either way. I'm glad that I mean I'm, I'm glad that CM's banned. I think CM has a hundred percent win rate still, at least from what we've seen. Too. The apps or shaker. Nice. I would imagine. Yeah, more than likely. Good way to stop the fiends group from a distance. Now they've yep. also got a lot of control on secret. Tiny or shaker revenge. Good combos. And then now like the lanes, we still. You're still not 100% sure where they could be because it's very, you know, you can be switching stuff around quite a bit. No, I think. I, 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 would, I mean, Avenge and the Shake are the supports. Sure, I. I'd, Those two are the cores. I'd but. kind of prefer if they left Ace, you know, Ace's pick here and main. they did put, say, Necrophos this time around, get farther on it, put mid and one the tiny, tiny mid. in okay, the mid. I'm cool with that. Get something for Ace here. Something that's going to be complemented by having sort of Avenge with that sort of minus armor. Some sort of great physical carry. Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, I could see that. I, that's probably the most likely. I don't know, as you say, because really, like, cause any of their cores can play Tiny, any yeah. of their cores can play Necrofoss. I'm thinking it's the Necro offlane as well, because yeah. they have the Shaker, so you can Fissure block, you make sure that the Necro at least gets stuff in that offlane. And, I don't know, we, we we sort of did see bits of it, like, do you really want to be playing a position 1 Necro in a game where there's Nyx Assassin, and a lot of sides, there's a lot of problems yeah. for the Necrofoss this game, do you really want to be putting a lot on a sort true. of Ace to carry the game on it? Because, yeah, Ace tried his best last game, he was forced into this item, but we had to build defensively, but it was it was never really going to be a game winning build, you know. If your position one uh, Necrophos is going to have to get the sort of this height, just go full bit. tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really do That's anything. True. You just sure you don't die straight away. So do you really want to sort of force your your position one to to have to to play a hero that's going to have to probably build in a very sort of particular way? That's the question. So secret, you know, as I said, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they do swap it, the Necro to the to the offlane this game. Get a something a bit more special. Team Serenity. Turn to Ursa. So. All right. I mean, we said they like to brawl. They like to. They fight. like to brawl. This is all about early, early battling. Yeah. It's just. Just this lane dominator, I guess. The bane and the Ursa. It's gonna be pretty hard for them to actually match stuff up versus that a uh, secret. I mean, it's it's, it's nice as well. There's not. There's no silence. A lot of stuns. You know, if this Ursa gets an axe, he ain't done. You know, he's not mm -hmm. gonna get Reaper's sight. It's gonna be very hard to sort of just Five pop the Ursa in the fight. That is. Oh, that's actually a really good point. Yeah, versus the Necro, the yeah, Ursa can you just on range. Yeah, you just range the ult. It's it's pretty crazy. So the, and and it's a great hero, of course. Ursa was one it's of those heroes coming up buffed, to TI. Yeah. People saying this. This hero is great. It's just because, like, the math-wise, you know, they were like, oh, we added yeah. the one extra Fury Swipe. But if you do the math, the extra Fury Swipe in most situations can be, like, over, like, up to 200 damage in a lot of situations. Just that one extra attack. And it lets you change your skill points differently, too. And this also benefits with their um their Roche. The Roche setup they have, right? Yep. Death Prophet very, and Ursa. Very, very good at taking the Roche. And Secret Silent, so there's Avenge, but we're not really seeing that hero that goes with it Peace to take the Roche limits. at the moment. Mm -hmm. So they're themselves. They've obviously got great fight around the pit with the Shaker. Uh, you know, assuming that he absolutely gets good timing on the Blink Dagger. I think I'm liking, liking Secret's fight overall better, yeah. because I think Serenity right now are very dependent on DP ulti in the team fight. Okay. They've got all these other little spells. Ursa can be a beast, but Death Prophet ulti is the big one they need for these team fights versus Secret. Secret's got so much control in the fights. Ten seconds remaining. So the thing to bring it surrounded together. Five seconds remaining. You no, know I'd like to see in a crazy dream world. But probably not gonna happen. Put the DP on a side lane. Team finish Serenity off with an invoker pick. pick. <laughs> Come on, Serenity. Give us something crazy. Give us something fun. What have we got here? Final pick. Probably Probably gonna be the off lane. Unless they do, do something wild. What I mean, GGG played Clinks as a dual offlane in the last game. They yeah, could still they could sort of fit something like that in. Right, like Xion Q played Ten Tiny. He was technically 
they I mean he's their offlane player, sure, right? But, but he they, played they, like a carry. It's the sort of role as you yeah. say that the Jean Ku could play the S. Yeah. Could be a possibility. And he just plays a game winner. Maybe some of us sort of hero that can work with the setup of, of Bane. I used to like Morphling, but now that hero is pretty much gone. Yeah, they've they've picked it a lot in the past too. Okay. But oh. Storm, yeah, so and they are doing the side lane. I was sort of right. There yeah, you go. Played to the side lane. There you go. And we're getting a flashy hero. Not the Invoker, but I'll let them off. Storm Spirit's a lot of fun too. There is a lot of stun. Not really a lot of sort of instant stun. Right, yeah, if shaker, you've got of the course, vision, yeah. sure. But if you've got the vision to play around with, you've got sort of the Nix Assassin as you will. You know, Nix Assassin is going to be there with the Nix and Storm is such a nice combo to have. You know, set up PYW, really setting up for kills, and you've got so many ways to follow up. Storm Spirit zipping in, Ursa's is going to have a blink dagger. Remaining. They are going to be able to play as pretty much the same style that Dota was there able to play in game one. Different draft, but you can certainly feel that Serenity are, are going to look to try and try and do what they did in game one in terms okay. of play style. So yeah, they they picked the storm a decent. I mean, I'm going based off what they picked. This is yeah. months ago, of course, but they did play it a lot in their qualifier run. Oh, like four games, four games or five Come games. Come on, put tiny mid, put Necker off, pick anti mage. Bam. Was that terrible? Anti mage. No one plays anti mage. No one really nah, plays no it. No one plays anti mage. Good for Storm, good for CP, and oh, I, th I I I saw the hand for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> Owen, the mid one TA. Okay, so. Is it Ace going to be playing the Necrophos again? We are still yet to see who's going to pick which. Ace and uh, follow which way around. Do they want to do the Tiny and the Necrophos? I put Ace on the Tiny. Come on. Don't give him the Necrophos. Uh, they're Serenity, thinking about Serenity's, it. They're, they're taking times with this. I feel like Sony's draft looks much weak, visibly, visibly weaker oh, this time around, right? And look at that. He's got the set for us. And it's an Ace Tiny. I like it. The switch. It is the Ace Tiny. It is the yeah. Ace Tiny. I think this is already better for Secret in terms of comparison to, to what they did in game one. He's, 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 he's got the Cowboy Ursa. He does have the he's Cowboy here. Ursa. I saw it. He's ready to party. And it's going to be... It's look, a side lane storm. It's a side lane storm. No, I was right. It's not a side lane DP. It's a side lane storm. Unless so, they're going to swap the roles around. Is it like Bane, Ursa, top, and then Storm, Nick, safe? Oh. Right? Yeah, I think so, right? I think similar so to the last game where they did the CM Clinks top or bottom, I guess it was that name. Cuz I guess Sorry, this bottom, is bottom, I meant. You would I mean you you don't want to have the storm against the TA, right? No, no, no. You, I mean, you, I, mean I think it's going to be storm storm in the safe lane. Yeah. Storm Nick safe lane, Ursa Bane off lane, right? For Serenity, the 2 and 2. Cuz the DP does alright against the TA, right? Mm -hmm. Was it not so it's still not no, well, I guess whoever you put mid here in this matchup is, is not going to have an amazing... Like, mid one should have a good lane. Mid one's going to have a good time. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's see. I mean, overall, obviously, uh, from what we saw in game one, Serenity did look rather hot. But as you say, this, this one looks much different Secret in game two, look... It looks just a lot closer. You can clearly see what Secret's going to be trying to do this game. They, they look like they've got a more well-rounded lineup. There's on the less side question of marks. I feel like Serenity. I think they're still very, like the lane has to go. Lanes yeah. have to go well, but I think they're so dependent on DP ulti until the storm gets online, unless Ursa snowballs, right? Like storm. If storm starts having some trouble, or if DP starts having some trouble, who's going to be their big space maker? It's got to be like the Nix and the Ursa. So yeah, it, it does look a little bit weaker here, but we'll see what they're able to make make come from it. So it is going to be, yeah, Storm Nyx top, yep, DP mid, and the Ursa Bane bottom, as we thought. All right, let's see. Okay. So game two, Serenity versus Secret. <laughs> Secret uh, getting severely shaken up in, uh, in game one. We'll see if they can step it up oh, look at this. in the second. Yeah, absolute item build. The Stout Shield to start on the Earth Shaker. So he wants to be in the lane hitting, is what that means. Instead of usually, see, we see most of the time it's like wind lays boots, clarity, something like that. More so like two and two meta, of course. But he wants to actually just be in the face, punching the Nyx Assassin, making sure that Fada is able to get a good amount. So yeah. as well, I, I'm I'm going to be very intrigued about the Storm Spirit side lane because we we don't see this hero put into the side lane very often, do we? This is it's it's not one of the mids that can sort of easily sort of switch up to a side lane. I feel like there, there's a lot of weaknesses, right? Isn't there? Sort of having it in this position. There must be a reason. We don't see you're, people do it. You're a 289 hero. Oh, yeah. Sure, you farm. You can kill creeps fast with your static ram or something, but you need levels, and you're not really going to be alone in that lane, right? There's going to be a Nyx Assassin for the most part with you, and you want your 6. You are a 289 movement speed hero who dies extremely easy if you get 
kind of like trapped or blocked at all. Yeah, so very interested to see how this safe lane storm does play out for Serenity. Yeah. Bottom lane. Rule beginning. A secret. The try and hold their ground against this battery, but Serenity will be able to bully them off. Uh, up top. They got it as well. Uh, no, PYW, yeah. Yes, yeah, Serenity yeah, gets so all get three. three. All right. They get three or four. Despite the the attempt from uh, from Yapsa there with the fish, it looks like I guess it just wasn't timed correctly. It looked like it tried to push him away from the rune, but PYW was still able to grab it. Again, it was Serenity bringing three heroes, including the mid. So now this time, mid one gets the block. Yes. Over the so this profit. this lane, mid one should be able to perform. We should mid see one should have a really good yeah. time this game, as long as he doesn't get ganked or die or in the early in the early phase. Like this this is a great lane for him and overall pretty good game. Off the bat, gets the four first lad sets, and already with that refraction started. Top lane. Yeah, so getting in onto Zinq. Really trying to, to punish this safe lane storm. As we said, it's, it's not going to be the easiest for Serenity to pull off. And certainly something that Secret can look to try and punish in this lane. And down bottom, of course, that, that final duel. The, the Ursa and Bane up against both Tiny and Venge. I mean, who, who should be coming out on top of this one? I'm, I, this is the lane it's that I'm going to be watching for the most, but I feel like this one's going to be a lot of trade of harassment because whoever steps up too far might just die for I mean, both sides. If it's Puppy or so like XCG will it, just die. I it feels like you, you've got to favor the team with two stuns, right? Surely there's, there's I think so. where you just got the wham bam, and if someone tries to it's go on you, as long as you've got a stun available. I think when like level three comes out, Secret yeah. has a huge, huge favor in this lane. All right, here we go here. Straight up magic missile, Death. avalanche right click. Yeah. Even there before the three. Stun's uh, always going to be the sort of the OP play at the early stages. And Ace getting that first blood for Secret. Did you see uh, also the skill, the, uh, not skill, but item build by Puppy as well was pretty much the, I want to just win this bottom lane. Oh, the double fairy fire. Triple fairy fire. Oh, the triple fairy. I couldn't <laughs> even count. <laughs> so last hits though, I think Ursa might, might be able to come out a bit ahead here, but yeah, kills Secret should be able to get tons. Ace almost level three. That's something they can always set up for those with the three spells. For a kill attempt onto PYW. Yeah, it's got the spike carapace, turns around, nice two man stun, and that will stop Father and Yapsor being able to chase him down. Just keeping that lane safe, trying to, to keep control of the creep so they can get that farm on the Storm Spirit. Mid lane already going as we kind of expected, but very, very one sided for mid one, 18 4. Fantastic start for him. Bottom lane. Secret just trying to keep pulling back the waves, deny. So they are winning in the experience war as well, quite a bit, versus Serenity. Or is it still farming, though? Puppy. Find another chance for a magic missile opening. Lane pressured in under the tower. And he should be able to keep himself level with the farm of that Ursa. This one a little quieter than the the other three games that we've had today. Yeah. At least the start. Yeah, just, just one start. kill. Just one kill so far. Yeah. No real crazy movements around the map. Everyone keeping themselves stuck to the lanes. All about just messing with the experience advantage. Ace getting collapsed on a bit here. Gets she 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 tossed away. Just not a kill that's uh, going to be happening ready for Serenity at the moment. Uh, so as you could, the combos we've seen and This is the lane now. This is where the lane is located now. Where the creeps have been pulled. She, she, she. Stepping forward. Hope he does have the mango. Uh, they're just going to turn. Burst him down and they got him. He's got it. They've got to be careful down in Serenity. The, the kill potential is just that much better for Secret with those stuns. And Tiny's just innately incredibly tanky. I mean, 1,000 HP, zero stat items. That strength gain. Top lane Jin Q. Caught out by a Fisher. He has not got any health in the tank. Leaves the last hit for Fada, so he gets all that mana back. And, and this is sort of what gets one of the problems as well with Storm Safe Lane. If any Can't time the PYW. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You leave him alone, he's going to get pressured. He's going to get pushed underneath the tower, and he will get bursted. That's why it's like, you're like, in theory, like it doesn't sound horrible to have like the Storm there, but you have to have him there 
and you want levels, and you have to have somebody else with him. So then you're not really going to be getting those levels that you want. So you see, PYW is like exclusively just pulling as much as possible to try to make sure that Storm gets six at a decent pace. Because his last hits are okay. Being able to spam Remnant. Radiant are scanning. Always going to give you that. So mid, yeah, mid one. So dominating that mid lane. Level six now, so the trap's coming online. Over the chase down here. Secret onto PYW. PYW will be able to get one of the bounty runes. Secret to grab the other. Yep, so and Fighter continuing to chase. Use the, the shrine to get that mana. Yep, so he's got the fish already. And they should have this. Oh, PYW turns with the stun. Makes some work. Yep, so he's got a fisher. Just needs to find the angle. <sighs> the juke from PYW. Sort of. Yeah, and PYW. He's always out of there. He's gone. Very nice play there from PYW. Doesn't go the obvious route around the cliff. Just heads straight out into the open. Force the shrine. Knows that there's not going to be a the ward move. there at this early stage of the game. That deep on their own half of the map. Secret. Yep. So, easy escape from PYW. Space. And indeed, yeah, happy times for Jin Q as he's able to get some creeps. So, important to point out, I mean, this is something that most people know already, but um, as soon as your TA hits 6, you ideally, if your mid laner is already having a hard time, which you tend to, if your purse is the last pick TA, make sure you have the sentry there as soon as the TA hits 6. ZYD does have it there, so he's not going to be threatened to dying by himself versus those side traps. Oh, mid one misses the catapult. Oh. And we we caught that one. We caught we he saw it. But gets his own sentry, D wards the sentry, so he can keep that lane dominant. Oh, we saw, we out. saw that too. There you go, that was good. Is it trade off, yeah. No. They got just it. yeah, it's just X and Q is just jungling now. And PYW is just gonna have to take the lane a bit here. Gonna get chased out. And they're gonna go, they're popping the ult here. The trap is going to slow XCG. There's another trap to slow ZYD. Mid one should be just fine. Yeah, and now with the turnaround, the Bane's the one in trouble. Puppy's there with the Magic Missile. Actually, Serenity did have the XCG did have the full stick. That will buy him some time, but not quite enough. As he'll go down, ZYD, can he actually get anything in return out of this? There's the second the trap being used to slow him. They're kiting him. They're closing in upon him as ZYD pops the Fairy Fire, but a Fisher comes out, and ZYD will fall secret. Themselves two more kills towards the mid, and they punish that usage of the exorcism as well as Team Serenity unable to achieve anything with that first use of the ult. Ooh, that is that's costly. The power of those TA traps, the Bane could not close the gap. And we were talking about how uh, for Serenity, the early game is going to be really important on either the Ursa snowballing and having a fantastic time, or the Death Prophet having pretty good success with those exorcisms. And the first one already not looking the greatest. Five to zero. Secret. I want to see what this, uh, what the storm's going to be able to pull out for, for Serenity having this. This poor storm, as you say, he's sort of just been sticking in the jungle for now. So sure as CS is up there, but, uh, hmm. so I'm just going to take a, a little bit more time for him to climb up. Ace didn't. Ace isn't going for an Aquila on the tiny. He's just gone treads, and he's got a bottle queued up. But not going for the Aquila. As I say that, I think he just bought the pieces. For he, just it. he did. For it. He <laughs> just bought the wraith band as well as this. But I was like, I was like, wow, he's skipping a kill. I usually don't see that on the, the tinies anymore. Ace, CG, and I try to just body block him with this invis. It's sort of working. He's got the nightmare. Magic missile out onto the Ursa. Nightmare will be taken off, but that's going to mean that now oh. Puppy's in an awkward position. But there's the Reaper side does come down onto a. And already raged us. They get the kill though, and it does save Puppy. Stops the Ursa from getting the kill on Puppy. Mid lane ZYD getting overpumped very aggressively here. But now with the TP in, Jinku's ready with the reaction play. Mid one, can he get his way out of this one? He can't. So heads up play there from the storm as Jinku turns into the lane and helps ZYD turn that play around. Mid one trying for solo kills. Gets punished. Pata's got a little bit of this is like awkward time where now he's just kind of like walking between lanes because he didn't get the kill, he didn't get the last hit or anything, so he doesn't get his mana back. But now he'll be able to last hit mid and get some of it restored. While Yapsor and PYW just got this little one v one going up top. The supports trying to get their farm, get their farm in their levels. What are the ancient stacks? We actually have not had any ancient stacks for mid one. Just not really any time, right? Yapso has been positioned top for the most part this game, besides that reaction to the exorcism, and Puppy's been bottom. Just can't not stop pulling. 
But that, is mean, that does mean that the supports on Secret, they're gonna be pretty high level this game already. So level 6 on Yaps already. I believe Puppy's almost level 6 too. While on the other side, Bane's only level 4. Since he's been making more moves around the map. And puppy. On this bottom lane, see if they can close the gap. Gee, gee, gee. Ace doesn't distance. have the most mana right now. They get the D ward, yes. but only has mana for one spell, or and one spell on a tree grip. So it's the arcane bolts on the episode this time around. Alright. Sometimes see Tranquil Soul Ring. I think he's realizing that he wants his not only just for himself, it's for his team. He's got like Venge and heroes that keep spamming abilities. And bottom Ace Ooh. goes with the Avalanche, but straight away XCJ and GGG ready to collapse upon him and surround him. Ace tries to toss away the big old bear, but ZYD is in with the rotation too. As Ace gets siphoned down. Mid lane mid one trying to use this opportunity to get some damage onto the tier one tower mid. There they go, they actually open up straight away onto PYW has been trapped slowed. The Spike Carapace for now, he has got the stun back of a second, but the mana's not quite there as mid one moves forward and takes the kill. You never could keep a secret. Find PYW, turns his attention back towards that mid tier one. He's got the Arcane Rune, so he's just pretty much using no mana every time he's using these refractions to push this tower. Bottom, yeah. the setup's coming. They're trying to look for the second use of the Ghost, but ZYD just gets swapped in straight away underneath the tower. The Magic Missile, the Slam thrown down, but the Nightmare will keep him alive there, dodging the Reaper Scythe. Is it enough to keep that man safe, though? As he's diving in deep, four heroes will finally finish him off. Uh, it was still beautiful, but he does end up dying. Will they be able to get XCG? It does look like they will as well. Time for the stop the push. That is the second use of the ghost that gets punished by Secret. Quick move, too. The decision-making by them. You saw, like, Yapso were still playing around mid, and they instantly were like, we can't let them get any damage on our tower with the DPO. Bring as much as we need to. Bring three heroes down. And they actually do get the kill. With that quick swap, that's what we were talking about as well, right? Yeah. When you're playing Death Prophet, you have to be careful of your positioning versus Avenge. Oh, PYW. Has he got the damage for this solo? Oh, oh. Oh, didn't get the hit out of Vendetta. The Ancients, not enough to give him the help, and now he he's, he's is dead. dead. All right, not, not quite able to get that kill there on to Puppy. Puppy walks away. Number two, this time round, Secret's turn to be in the driving seat off the back of the lanes. 2k lead. And still, it's uh, it's it's going to be what they do with this Storm Spirit. Still it really obviously is. a very passive game from Jinku. He's farmed at the Kaya, he's going for the Kaya into the Orchid. They're going to need a big mid game to come out with the, I mean, with the level 12 even on the Storm Spirit with the Blink Dagger Ursa. Like they're going to have to yep. just make plays happen to catch themselves back up in and this. And there's, there's a Blink on Tanya now for Secret. Yeah. And he's just ready to make the plays himself. The Blink Tread Tequila ready to go. Smokes up straight away with a puppy. Oh god, and CYD is standing under a trap right now in the mid lane. There it is. They've got the Fissure. They've got the Blink. They've got the combo. And he's gone. And he's gone. And uh, the swap forward. That's uh, so the second one gone. Secret with the quick picks. And a tower. And a fantastic timing with the reveal of that blink dagger. You can just feel the difference in pace this game, though. Looking at Serenity, you can tell they're just like, we kind of, our heroes just have to farm. Our Storm, this isn't the hero that, I mean, he's not a clink. just been farmed. That's what he's doing. Yeah, it's, it's, this is a hero that just needs to be absorbing space from the map, but they're not getting that much space on the map from the rest of their heroes. And the aggressive ward's now coming out. Secret, they take out the mid tower, instantly walk into the jungle, place that deep vision, so they will be able to see Ike's in Q. X on Q. Whenever he does go for those jungle plays. So yeah, I think GGG, this blink dagger, he's gonna have to make moves around the map. And he does have it finished on the air, so. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Top lane. Serenity's gotta be careful how they attack. show unless they want to, to go in with a full team fight. They are. They've got Exorcism back up. Look for the opening, but the fish is already out, and there's the combo again. Is Ace Bam. ZYD on the DP is dead and gone. Mid one trying to move forward. Does get stunned up, but Ace is there with the body blocks on to PYW. G -G -G. He's stuck. Oh no. He can't go anywhere. He has got the ult to buy himself sometime, but Secret will just chase him down as they've picked up PYW on the Nyx Assassin. They'll get GGG as well as with the Reaper side down upon him. He's gone for 45 seconds. Oh, poor GGG. He got, dude, he got stuck in the tree. He got fissured and pushed into the tree. <laughs> How unfortunate. Radiance. Secret take the tower. And they didn't have to expend anything 
that big. Like, the Reaper side, that's it. But you, look, we were talking about Serenity. It feels like they just need exorcism in the fights. And he's been getting it off, but he, dies every he time. just dies instantly. It, it's not been the smoothest of games for ZYD on his DP, that's for sure. 1 no. for 1. Every exorcism has Radiant just, uh, it's not been great. Attack. And now they've and got now the Desso. Desso. They've got, they uh, can go for the Roche. They absolutely can. This was that hero we were sort of talking about in the draft before his pit was. So they need something to help the tape Roche. And they've the got the Venge. Yep. Got Venge. And they've got the Sustain. TA. Sustain with Necro Heals too. You're taking this easily. And as you can see there on the replay, once again, that Fisher sort of blocking ZGG in. He's stuck. They pick him off one by one. And without the Ghosts, you know, with, with, they had the Ghosts, but without the ability to keep the, uh, herself alive on the GP. There's no fight for them to take. I think it was also really important, like the the, the how Puppy set that fight up with the Sentry placed already. They were taking the tier one, but they knew the fight was going to happen in that area, and he put a Sentry and Obs down before it even started. So they got the vision of the Nyx. They already knew what was kind of going on before it happened. So they're able to just insta kill Death Prophet. Wards win games, but that vision. Still waiting for that storm to to come online in sort of the eyes of Serenity. As Ace just continues to find these pickoffs with that blink. Oh, Tiny feels like such a good hero. We're seeing it quite a lot here already on this first day. He's got 2.4k gold towards the Orchid. Okay. But can he really go in and find those pickoffs to start the fights off? Oh. GGG was about to get swapped. Another tower. Is under attack. More map control for Secret. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. And when you when you have more and more map control and you have more gold going your way and you're playing versus Nyx Assassin as well on these type of teams, you're always going to have the reveal set up. So it makes this hero look quite a bit weaker. Like PYW last game looked phenomenal. This game, 0-4-0 zero, zero on the Nyx, unable to really find anything because they're so heavily on the back foot. This is a hero that usually helps you snowball more and more. And when you're on the back foot, it makes you lose more and more. And Exxon Q has switched the build, by the way. So, no longer the Orchid. Okay. Going for the Bloodstone. Just going for Greed. I think they're recognizing that this game is starting to get out of hand already. Absolutely. With the Secret taking another Tier 2 tower. Pushing in on the top. How does Serenity put a stop to this? It is going to get to the point where Jin Q has to turn up to the fight on the Storm. He has to offer something. Again, Exorcism's up. But as we've seen every time that it has been, it's not been a good fight for Serenity. Going for the back. Let's see if they can get the wraparound opening. Jump forward Ace again with the combo. There's the Nightmare, but it's too early. The Reaper side still comes down. And again, Exorcism into death. They lose to Serenity and Secret are up onto the high ground. There'll be a buyback from GGG on his Ursa. They're going to have to try and hold without the Death Prophet, without the Exorcism. Not that that would have done anything as we're seeing this game. So oh! Baits out the Echo Slam. It's a sweet little dodge from Jinq. He's going to go back in. But at this point... The storm finally turning up. It just doesn't offer anything at all to slow down Secret. A Secret, hold the ground, keep pushing in. They'll get the toss back. Triple kill for Fada. They may even get more as well as PYW getting slowed up. Magic Missile, another kill for Secret. A Serenity just losing hero after hero on this base well, defense. Attempt at a base defense at least. Again, he zips in. He zips out. He's he tossed. gets tossed back uh -oh. in. And he is dead. Yeah. I, we said, as I said, you know, we don't see safe lane storm spread a lot. Why doesn't it work out? This, this is, and they're GGing out. They're done. It's, I mean, the game's they're absolutely done. over. I, I, we were saying it, right? We looked and we're it's like, Secret's got a, it looks like a much more clean draft. draft. much better. I, I thought Serenity looked very, gr like, it, the greed, right? When they have to move that lane like that and then Death Prophet suffers, they have to have, like, one of these heroes has to dominate the yeah. game. Like, the, the Ursa or Death Prophet have to just go ham in this game. And they... They didn't, and the game's kind of just over from I that think, point. I, I just feel the Necrophos, it feels much nicer having him in the offlane position and having Ace on something. Uh, he can be flashy on, like the Tiny. You know, Ace had a fantastic time, 8-1-8. Eight, and eight. This is a hero that he can really do so. He can get the kills. You know, with the Necrophos, it's... Sure, it happened. I mean, it happened this game for Vada. He had a, a great time, but there's less pressure on the Necrophos, especially when you're drafting it into a Nyx's house. Yeah. And so we're seeing certainly seeing that the Secret re resolved the draft problems yeah. uh, tenfold from what they had in game one. You know, they, they tried something. They picked Pugna and a position one Necrophos into a Nyx's house. It didn't work out. Game two, they, they fixed all their errors. Let me see how much composition really matters, right? And like, if you, if you don't do well in the laning phase and you don't really have a great team fight in the mid game, you're, you're in a lot of trouble. I know, and and it's yeah. the third one-sided game I feel we've seen today. And I we do have three feel so games as well. that have been 
pretty just straightforward from start to uh, to end. The team is seeming to be very good at holding on to a lead and, and not letting it slip from them today. But So that is the second series on this stream done and dusted. Secret will manage to get the equalizer here in this two-game series as it ends 1-1 between themselves and Serenity. Our next series that we are going to be having here, I believe, is what VGJ Thunder versus, versus LGD. LGD. Yep. Uh, so do not go anywhere. We're going to be in, in excited to see how LGD uh, performs. Are they going to be that dominant team against a team like the Thunder that, that has struggled in some, sort of the recent DPC tournaments? Or are we going to see another sort of toss-up between the teams and Thunder coming in with something new, something different to take down the big Boys of China, LGD. So, don't go anywhere. We'll have LGD versus VGJ Thunder for you any minute now. We'll see you very shortly. <laughs> 